Hello. Okay, let's walk down here and see how see how long it takes to get to some graffiti. And it's one of the clung boats, commuter boats. You get them all the way up and down the river, we shall do that. I've got to be honest, I was going to do that today and I thought to myself, I won't freak the missus out by getting on packed buses or trains or boats. I'll just do what I usually do and wander about. First small piece. Well, that's a crane I'm, I'd imagine that takes boats in and out the, the water look and boats just sit there like on a car the boats just sit there it's like a garage look pull the boat up park it there That looks like we're gonna we're gonna do we'll walk up this side um, and then we'll walk back the other side because look at all that bloody graffiti fantastic that was my house I'd embrace it and graffiti the whole house I think I think that's what I'd do. Beautiful. All these are closed. Apparently, with this global shit sh shit show, the uh, the lurgy apparently gets you when uh, when you're in parks and exercising and walking about in the open, but it doesn't get you when you're in the shopping centre or on buses and stuff. So it's quite convenient, really. Oh, this is great. I'm in my element here. Okay, we'll go over there in a minute. Let's have a look here. Ah, that yellow place is some kind of arts and cultural centre, I think. That's probably why the graffiti's all around here. Don't know. Some of this we can't see because it's on corrugated um, steel, but never mind. Carp. Carp. As you know here, footpaths are roads, roads are footpaths. Nothing wrong with that, you just should be aware of it. All oh, right, okay, I know where we are. I don't think I'm allowed in there. There's Alex's face over there. This is the, uh, I think that's the Siam Square um, boat stop. Okay, I can go in there. Let's go around here first of all. It's not a park, it's just a abandoned old place. Uh, maybe I can't. Oh, got that car. Let's have a little look down here and then we'll cross over. No, not allowed in, look. Not allowed in. I don't think, anyway, let's have a quick look. It's 
nobody there, it's out in the open, I'm not hurting anyone. Alex's face is Marty, contemplating the future of the youth today. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So we must be very close to the Chilermla Park then. I'm going in. Oh, I'm going in. Might not be the sensiblest thing I've ever done, but look at this. Dude. Wow, what a house this would have made. Fancy buying this and doing it up. Right on the canal in the middle of town. That's an old house. At Yellow, I think they're Rama 7 era houses. Anyway, we're here to look at the graph, so let's look. Might be a squat, there might be people in there, so rather than getting shots, I probably won't go in. Or will I? No, I won't, that's trespassing. Yeah, I'm not even gonna poke my camera in. I've just seen mattresses on the floor and a few things hung up. There's no way I'm doing that. If homeless people live here, then bless their souls, let them get on with it. Things I do for you guys, Jesus. Now we've got to try and get out of here, look. People still hang out there then. Heartbreak superstar. And an old park up here, it's the, the hotspot for graffiti in town. I'm pretty certain it's not open, but the least we could do, we're right next to it, we could have a look. Oh, there it is. Can't get any of those, let's have a look. Oh, that's a shame. Well, that's the famous part, but it's closed at the moment, unfortunately. So, 
we got here anyway, look. Let's have a quick look. Beautiful picture of uh, the silhouette of King Bumibot. Rama 9, Chilam Brachiat or Gao. Glory to King Rama 9. There's a big Alex face up there that we can't really see, look. Anyway, that's all you're going to get at Chalermla Park, so I'm Chalermla, because of the global shit show. So it's closed at the minute. We'll get back down the canal and uh, we'll have a look down there. TTFN. Okay, hold on to your belts. You're going to see some some good stuff down here. Skate, cafe and bar. I don't know where any of the cool places are anymore. I'm old. Well, that was nice. So we were in that garden of that house, but I'm just saying, imagine doing that house up and... Lovely bar or cafe with gardens that kind of thing and just amalgamate it in with the the graffiti stuff next to it that's what i say anyway pretty empty boat you do not want to go for a swim in there i do like um i do like fresh water swimming but that that is that is not fresh water so Hello. Nice colours. Sunshiny. Sunshiny day. That reminds me of Manchester, Spike Island and all that. Uh, nice colours. Turquoise and purple. Pink in the background. Beautiful. I'm surprised this footpath has, hasn't been done. I guess if you're going to do it, you're going to have to do it at a time where you're going to have to stop people going down there, so it might be quite difficult. Asians are human. Well, yes they are. <laughs> DNA-wise, people around the world aren't very much different at all. It's how they're brought up, how they're taught within their culture that makes people different. The old abandoned houses down here but i mean from a different point of view you could really regenerate this area into something really beautiful because you're in walking distance of of the best shopping centers in in bangkok and certainly the best shopping district same square when i was a younger man i wore a younger man's clothes i used to go same square quite a lot hang out there but uh yeah i'm getting a bit old for all that nonsense well, not old, I just taste changed, don't I? Okay, so I know this artist. This artist is... Uh, just trying to think, he's not signed it, but I've seen this work before. I'm not sure. Nice colours. Very Miami Vice. What was the game? Outrun. Okay, so the arcade game Outrun. It was that colour scheme, wasn't it? It was, wasn't it? I think it was, anyway. Got to love some of these pieces, though, look. Look at this. Purple one. We like that one, don't we? Okay, Jex. There's Jex. So, just to explain who Jex is, Um, when I visit the Aurum Gallery again, which is, for those of you who don't know, there's a guy in England called Goldie, 
He's a jungle drum and bass legend, and also a legendary graffiti artist and street artist too. He's actually an actor as well, played a gangster in, uh, in EastEnders for quite a while, um, which is a, a British soap opera. Anyway, I digress. The main piece in the Aurum Gallery, which, which Goldie's a partner in, is a giant gold chain that's got a, a beautiful piece on it. And it was jointly done by Goldie and this guy, Jex. So keep an eye out for Jex. If he's good enough to work with Goldie, and he's good enough for me, yeah? And he did that purple one, look. So. Gotta get myself in a couple, look. So I think I've hit the jackpot now for street art in Bangkok. I'm sure, well, I know there's, there's a few bits about, so I'll continue to make these videos, but um, might have to move on to, to Pat here in a couple of places. We'll go deeper into the back streets. Um, yeah, but a lot of these pieces are new, look, they're constantly getting done. That's another, that Jex piece was 2020. That's another 2020 piece done by Yeah, done by Honeymoon and somebody. Okay, whoever this is, you see this guy about a lot, Cozone. Um, it's old writing, kind of reminds me of going into King's Cross as a kid on the station. Um, I grew up about 40 minutes from, from King's Cross on the main line, and we used to go in and from, from about 10, 15 miles out, you, should, you start seeing all the graffiti on the sides, on the, on, on, the, on the massive walls by the side of the railway track. And a lot of it was King Robbo. Um, if you want to know who King Robbo is, there's a, there's a great documentary. You'll find it on YouTube. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten what it's called. I'll put the link in the video. Um, it's basically about him and his spat with, with the, uh, the infamous Banksy. And, uh, and what happened at the end of that, which, which wasn't great. But King Robbo is an absolute legend in UK graffiti. There's some really nice pieces along here. I mean, it's not to everyone's taste, is it? Some people still think that street art is vandalism. I mean, even when I was a kid, I could see the difference between writing your name or writing Bob was here compared to uh, some proper writing or some proper art, you know? Yeah, another house that could be done up, but would you want people climbing up there at night? Probably not. Okay, that's a nice piece. Utopia P2P, Pode Red. like the street art mother load do you know what i might be wrong but that looks like mf doom if that's a tribute to mf doom i'd like to shake the hand whoever did that i know he hasn't got the mask on but it's probably not but but i like that whatever it is see that's the way i walked before and look, if you look, literally just down there, which is closed as everywhere else is in Bangkok, is the Jim Thompson Art Centre. Let's have a look in the sewer. Lovely. And there we go. We do not want to fall in there. Okay. I think that just about finishes our walk down the... Oh, down the canal side, right in the centre of town. As you've seen, it is a bit of a hot spot for graffiti and street art. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button. Um, please subscribe, comment, if you will. And if you hate it, comment as well. I could do with a little bit of constructive criticism, to say the least. Anyway, so 
signing out. <laughs>